Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Um, I've decided to vlog this weekend because I'm going to Newcastle today with some girls from work. Um, we're going to have some food and go shopping and me and James have more money this month um, which means I can be a little bit more flexible when buying clothes and beauty and um, so I'm really excited about that. But first, I am actually getting my bloods taken. So I'm feeling very sick and anxious right now. I hate pain and needles and blood, um, all of the above. Um, however, this is the first time I've actually requested to have a blood test. A bit of growth there. Um, but yeah, I just feel so tired at the minute. And I had iron deficiency last year. Um, and it's kind of how I felt then, but worse. I'm going to go and get a few blood tests done and then head straight to the train station, assuming that I don't like pass out and die um, for the blood test. Um, and then we're going to go to Newcastle on the train. So that's the plan. Um, I bought some new dresses on Wednesday um, and I was going to wear one of them and I was really feeling it, um, really liked how it looked but it's just not a nice day today. Um, it's not really cold but it's windy and dull um, here and in Newcastle. So I'm just going to go for my usual like t-shirt, mum jeans and a leather jacket combo. I thought I would check in with you now while I'm getting ready. So it's been a while since I did like a full makeup routine. Like I can't remember the last time I wore foundation. Um, I used to really enjoy makeup and obviously over the last few years makeup has changed in a lot of ways. Um, and I'm all for like the neutral no makeup makeup look. Um, I personally enjoy doing that kind of makeup especially when I'm at work because it's just a lot easier on a morning when I'm usually rolling out of bed like last minute um but I used to love wearing bright coloured eyeshadow and it's not something I've done in such a long time this palette quite a few years ago it's the urban decay full spectrum it's a little bit of a mess I'm not gonna lie but look at those colours and that's the kind of colours I used to use all the time. I used to I thought, I'm wearing a pink top, I'm going to have a pink bag, I'm going to do a little pink eye moment. So you see, as a base, I'm going to open my Morphe palette and I'm going to use this pink here, which is like a really nice, pretty bubblegum pink. Um, and I'm just going to put that firstly as a base because the pink in the full spectrum palette that I'm going to use is more like a shimmer. So I'm going to do this one as a base. I'm not going to go too crazy, like I'm not going to do like a cut crease or eyeliner or anything like that, um, but just a nice pop of pink and then I'm going to curl my eyelashes and pop on some black mascara today. I'm used to wearing brown, um, but I feel like the black will just go more with the look. This feels so weird, but like really nostalgic. Complete my makeup and then put my numbing cream on my arm for my blood test because I'm the biggest wuss ever um, and then head off to the doctors before going to Newcastle. So I will take you along with me and show you what I get up to.
home it's definitely been a successful shop and um, we've got loads of new clothes obviously went for food and um, i didn't film as much as i would have liked to but it was just quite busy and i was just focusing on looking at all the clothes um, and trying them on i've done like a few little try on reels but i'm actually going to do a sit down clothing haul um at some point because i've not done one in a while and i feel like there's too much for me to go through uh, in the vlog so i've got clothes from new look h&m and premark um, so yeah there will be a haul coming soon on my channel if that seems like all kind of thing um, i'm a size like 14 to 16 for reference i've tried to push the ball out a little bit with um you know out of my comfort zone but also trying to get kind of more neutrals um to kind of start to build up like a capsule wardrobe um i love a bit of color as i mentioned this morning i love a pop of color but i feel like at the minute there's quite a lot of color in my wardrobe and i struggle to put things together so yeah quite a lot of neutrals um, and i'm really excited about them all um so that video will be coming soon i am now about to make tea i've just been playing with macy in the garden so i'm going to make tea for me and james because he's going to be home soon and then i'm probably just going to have a chilled evening watching netflix catching up on love island um and all of that so this will probably be the last time i speak to the camera tonight um i don't really have any plans tomorrow um other than going food shopping um which is obviously sunday um but i'll still show you what i get up to anyway but yeah i'm honestly so excited about all the clothes that i got so yeah oh and my blood didn't feel it so that was really good um absolutely fine and then while i was shopping we went to victoria's secret and i got my like chest measured um and found out what size i am which is quite interesting because i've never been measured before and um, they said they think i'm a 36 h we wear 38 e at the minute so that's up three cup sizes so i was a bit like okay um i feel like the bra that i'm wearing at the minute is actually fine but i definitely need to buy some more so that was interesting to do it's something that i've never done before obviously i got my bloods done I feel like it's been quite a productive day um and then obviously i spent loads of money on the clothes so good job we got paid more this month good morning it's now sunday i've just got up it's about half seven um i feel like i could have done with another hour sleep but once i'm awake i'm awake that's it so um yeah uh, i'm gonna get on with my day i feel like very hair fevery and um, my body is aching <laughs> from walking around yesterday my arm hurts from my blood so i'm feeling a bit sorry for myself but um i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go downstairs sort macy out and then i'm gonna straight away clean the office and get ready um because i've got a beauty haul that i want to film and obviously as i said yesterday i want to film a separate clothing haul um so i might get that done this morning because i will be going food shopping at some point um and walking macy and stuff so i feel like if i get this out the way and then later Later on um i can sit and edit them so that's the plan i patches are on so i'm just gonna go downstairs and feed mercy sit sit oh are you sitting on my nice clean table hmm So I filmed my videos and now I've just got ready for the day. Um, I'm about to take Macy for a walk and then I'm going to do some cleaning upstairs and go food shopping. Um, so yeah, not the most interesting day, but obviously I had such a busy day yesterday. I am just so tired. Um, so that's the plan. Um, I've done my makeup today and I've actually wore brown eyeshadow and I'm just really feeling it. Obviously I had a pop of colour yesterday. I've not actually wore eyeshadow in weeks and then I've done it two days in a row. But yeah, I'm really feeling the brown today. And then I've just got like a little brown top on and my cardigan. Um, I actually don't want to wear any of my new clothes because I've just wore them. Like I don't want to waste them on just like a day chilling in the house. Especially taking Macy for a walk when she's probably going to jump up at me and get me dirty. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I still got a few content things that I want to do later. And I want to sit down and do some planning. It's just a really chill day, but I will obviously continue to just share what I get up to. Having a stick. Mm -hmm. Thank you, 
you smell? with hair washed it because it just started pouring it down while we're out like it literally was sunny and then all of a sudden just poured down so we ran back oh well that's macy's little walk done out of the day So I've just done my food shop, so I thought I'd show you what I got. And um, firstly, obviously not food related, but I got this for Macy. It's a step on dog water fountain. Um, they had a really great selection of pet products, and Macy is obsessed with water. Like if you've got the horse pipe on, she goes mad. Um, so we've got this for her. Um, starting off over here, got some yogurt. These are my favourite, the Bliss Corner Cheesecakes. I just got some of these for James because he's already got a few yogurts left in the fridge. I've um, got some little dairy milk bars. I find these um, very filling, but they're only small, a bit bigger than a Freddo. I've um, got some Nutella Be Ready bars, some crepes there for James, some fibre um, popcorn, chocolate bars there for James, and the whipped toffee and brunch oats for me. I've uh, got some salad. Um, James has got training and working this week. He's got both. Um, so for when he's off, I got him some pepperoni pizza parcels and this uh, chicken and bacon pasta salad. And then for when he's at work, I'm going to make him chicken tikka um, and calls for wraps. I've got myself some crackers and some tuna because I just felt like having easy lunches at work this week. Um, I've then got some fridge raiders just because I try and um, like include some source of protein. Obviously, they're not the best <laughs> probably for you, but um, just adding protein in there. Got some kitchen roll, got some chicken and a oriental stir fry bowl because I'm going to do a stir fry with some rice I've already got in the cupboard. Um, I normally get um, salmon and broccoli. That's been what we've been getting like um, to have once a week the last few weeks. But I found some cod in the freezer. So I'm going to do cod with potatoes and peas. So a bit like fish and chips, but with a twist. I've um, got some allergy tablets, some popcorn chicken. I like to have something like that in the freezer just um, for James if he's either off or if he's been working late and he's hung just like a little bit hungry when he gets home. I've um, got some treats for the cats um, and then also some of these. Like They only eat the Perina Gourmet Gold. They prefer the pate ones, but they never normally have this in Lidl. So I just picked up the savoury cakes because I've ran out of cat food. Got some crisps, um, some strawberries, some milk. Got a little sweet chilli sauce because I've run out. Some juice. Um, Pepsi Max, Lucas Aid Sports. I get these for when James is on training just so he's got easy drinks to take with him. Um, same for the popcorn, just little snack bags and then some wraps. So yeah, that is my weekly food shop. Um, I'm off on a Wednesday, so I'll probably pick little bits up on then, um, you know, if I've missed anything. But yeah, I'm just going to pop this away. And then this is what I've got for my dinner. I've got a vitamin drink, one of the um, like little flatbread pizza things from Little Bakery and a white chocolate chip cookie. I feel like I look so frazzled right now. Um, I've just been on the sofa editing my updated house tour video and then also binging Love Island. Um, I've been behind on Love Island for like well, pretty much since it started, to be honest. Um, and I think I'm going to catch up tonight. So I'm very excited because I know that obviously Casa and Mo have started. Um, but I thought, obviously, now that I'm nearly um, caught up, I would have a little break. And I've come upstairs to sort my wardrobe out. It is just a bit chaotic in there. And obviously, I've got some new clothes now. So I feel like I really need to just have a bit of a sort through, like... I've had a really big declutter and I've sold quite a lot of stuff on Vinted. Um, but yeah, I think I just need to take out some because I think I've still got like winter to spring clothes in there. So 
yeah i'm gonna have a little sort out while my video uploads onto youtube and then um i know that my mom is making a sunday dinner tonight and um, you've probably noticed you've watched my vlogs uh, my mom makes sunday dinner like every week i've also had quite a productive afternoon because i filmed some videos for instagram and tiktok um, where I basically videoed the item of clothing that I purchased on the hanger and then styled it. So I'm going to do what I bought versus how I styled it and um, video for each item of clothing that I bought, which um, yeah, I'm really excited about. And I actually really like how the videos and pictures turned out. I'm excited about it because I do love fashion, but obviously um, I've not been like really, really into it. Um, over the years because of obviously feeling a little bit self-conscious so I feel like now that I'm getting my little like spark back that I'm obviously enjoying buying clothes and wearing clothes and yeah I just really enjoyed filming them videos so if you're on Instagram or TikTok they will be coming soon. I'll show you the bedroom right now <laughs> it's just not good and then the wardrobe is literally like jam-packed I'm going to take one of these out um because we've got them things in the middle we need some drawers to be honest but I've just not got around to getting any so i'm going to take one of those out because we don't even fill them both up and then it'll have um more space at either side for clothes on hangers so it's now 9 p.m and i'm just about to go in the shower and wash my hair and then i think afterwards i'm going to do a face mask and catch up on love island so i'm going to end the vlog here and um, thank you for watching it's probably been quite a short one because as i said i didn't film as much as i planned to in newcastle but obviously it was really happy with um everything that i got um and yeah i will see you in my next vlog uh my clothing haul should be up soon i've just uploaded a house tour if that seems like your kind of thing um but yeah i will see you in my next video